Okay, so let's go back to this. Have I picked up any new remembrances? Remember. Just corroded scissors and the one that increases the amount of health we get. Maybe there's other boosts that I can pick up that I just haven't found yet. So, option A. We keep doing hunts. I'm getting a little bored of that. I say, inner void. Let's see, so goose... Alright, Selene. Regenerate Selene. Ser Serene? Serene. Sacrifice Goose. Or, scratch that. Let's take a look at stats for a second. So, how much damage bonus? 157. Versus Gunjutsu. So being a higher level is actually quite quite important. So I say we take Gunjutsu Decent Gun and Bob in and fight the boss. Okay, decent gun. If we sacrifice Serene to decent gun, we get 11% dodge, 2% crit. That's pretty good. I feel and if I... her light grows stronger. If I do the same thing with Mod Modaka... Oh, wait, hold up. Okay. Can I put Modaka in here? I can. I'd like to see what the, uh, the Swords Woman bonus is. Because it seems like Gunners just get extra dodge chance and crit. Which is very good. But yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go mildly all in on decent gun here. Her sacrifice births another hope. Okay, so we're gonna do Bob and Goose. This gives Bob a lot more HP. Did do those traits stack? Time to find out. Her sacrifice births another hope. Okay, so if I look at traits, part of Goose, part of Modica, no, they don't stack. Well then, now I know. I was really hoping I could uh, Katamari Damacy Turbo Daughter. The answer is no. You just pick the best. So really. That sucks. I mean, it's fine. That's the point of learning. <sighs> I was just really hoping I could make, like, turbo dodge daughter and not even care. Alright, fight the boss with my trash family. They will fall, or we will. Farewell, daughters. I'd almost prefer it if your characters would snowball. Our research must continue. I guess that keeps it more balanced, but it's still kind of sad. A monument to terror. They destroyed a child and called it mercy. I guess that makes the system kind of easy, though, because effectively all you have to do is just have three mainline characters that you use on a run. And all you do from there... Uh, let's see. Caretaker, caretaker, boss. Has 7,000 HP! Alright, uh... Why is Bob all the way out there? Oh, 
Okay. Uh, you just have three characters that you main for the entirety of a run. Up until you hit whatever the, the level cap is. I'm not gonna, going to in this case. I might want to have Gunjutsu run up and try and shoot. Yeah, let's have Gunjutsu take the long way up and kill this guy. I think everybody else is kind of at a range anyway. Uh, there we go. Impressive. But get three characters as high as possible. Then sack them down into the best. And once you've kind of accrued the best, then you actually just stop entirely and you just focus on those three char characters that have been turbo buffed. So they're just... Cripes. Oh, we're still on decent gun. So these guys just make him really fast. Or faster. He's actually really slow normally. Oof. The best bet is stun locking him. Unfortunately, uh, he's getting a perk. Yeah, initiative offset resist by whatever. So until I kill these guys. And until I kill these guys, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not winning this one. We'll have to see what the. Uh... What the bonuses are. Oh, good. Let me guess. These guys attack and do a lot of damage too. But seriously, they could do both. Rest in peace, decent gun. Let's just do what damage we can. It ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be enough. Okay, here's a question. We're gonna do Shadow Round. She's super dead. Yeah, can I trigger? Shadow round off with my own attack. Nope. Alright, I'll do an intercepting round because... <laughs> at this point, zero cost. Okay, intercepting round's pretty good. Stop progress. The cure will be found. Okay. Striking. What does that do? Reaction palliative care. What does that do? I don't know. Uh, 
Okay. So let me take a look at it. So that doesn't actually do anything to him. Great. Can I shield bash him? Yeah, the problem is he's still got those buffs rolling, so I can't harm him. Uh, let's see. He's out of range. Oh, he's next. All right, we're just going to do an intercepting round and a shadow round. Like, do or die, I don't have a choice. Hopefully, intercepting round makes it so he doesn't kill decent gun. <laughs> I didn't realize those triggered off of each other. Okay, so Bob. Doesn't have too much that Bob can do. So let's do a slam. What? Oh. All right. That's frustrating. Okay. We got the combo for this. The only problem is... I'm not at all certain. How this is going to work. Okay. So she can't do Shadow Round anyway. Because she straight up does not have enough HP. He moves so far, I can't run from him. So my best bet is just to have her wait. Oh, did the guy get yeeted? Yeah, I got a, I got a Shield Slam that sends him off. Okay. Move forward one. Maybe over here, actually. Yes. Unfortunately, I can't shoot him because the target window is in the way. It's fine. I just didn't want her to be directly next to. Uh, let's see. And I don't want to keep shooting. We want to be able to do intercepting round every time we get the chance. And I'll keep doing shadow rounds. Because I, I don't have anything better. One way or another, after we beat this boss, I'm ending the cycle and we'll go from there. So self-medication is the one that makes it so he retaliates against anybody that tries to hit him. All right. Luckily, I got intercepting round, so I can prevent him from actually doing damage. So, really, all we have to do is just keep whamming him. Okay, so here's the question. Go for the slam. It doesn't push him back, because his initiative resistance is too high. We might be able to just kill him. At the cost of a lot of HP from Bob. 
Or we could just shield bash for easy peasy. Okay. And seeing as decent gun can't do biscuits. Oh, we've got a flank. Yes. We got him. Well, that was satisfying, I guess. Memories of another life. Guard them well. All right, so they all level up. Let her flourish. Who are you to question? The plague will kill us all. Each cut brings us closer to the cure. They spoke lies, little one. Too little to fight. They cut me because I could not die. We will fight for you. Release this memory to me. We shall find a cure for this plague. Whatever the cost may be, child or no, it remains an experiment. Surgeon to the Deacon, 1890. Surgeon has been vanquished. The cellar prison. Send me more lovelies to punish. I will absolve them of their sins. Continue on, or we will never escape this convergence in space and time. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Super obviously... We got some traits. I, kind of, not really. Oh, a bit of a shame. Uh, did I pick anything... Pick up anything new? Yes. Newborn daughters start at mastery level four. Ooh. Alright, that saves me some time. Give life to our daughters. Okay. I think... Given what I've got and how injured my guys are, let's just do a next recollection. Alas, suffering is born. We failed the child. We have lost. I have nothing more to give. So we begin again. Okay, so looks like there are actually five bosses total. They survived, shards awarded, cool. Remember. Oh, skip an era. So I can skip a whole boss, if I wanted to. If I... If I do that, do I keep the, my remaining shards? I don't really care about skipping an era. This so-called doctor has revealed himself. Yeah. So it looks like I can skip the boss if I wanted to. So I can fight him immediately if I want. Life is good. So... I start with Desire, Modesty, and Peace, just from the get-go. Which means they've got all that. They don't have any traits, though, but it's fine. And I do have a Resurrection coin. Not that I really have anybody that I want to... Remember their courage. Okay. Additional tokens can be unlocked via Remembrances or Sacrificing a Bright Soul. Well, unfortunately, almost all of my previous characters are kind of bad to begin with. Maybe one or two of them have decent perks. Like, Bob, for example, the extra health is kind of good. She has the extra... Interestingly enough, I, I think I need to try the Blade Master a little bit more. But we will see. It does seem like this is going to be kind of a long game. Uh, okay. 
By the way, it does look like I keep all of my my shards that I picked up, and it, uh, that keeps snowballing for a while. Have I unlocked any more remembrances? It doesn't look Remember. like it. So, ah, close synapses to unlock these. It's a attaching a total of twenty-five memories to skills, five hundred or five thousand vitae. Deal hundred thousand damage, three hundred thousand damage. Complete chapter one of memories to unlock. Chapter two, three, four, five. Discover the boss of the cellar prison era. Oh, just discover. Kill X number of cultists, creatures, so on and so forth. 50 corrupted daughters. Ooh. Okay, so kill that deacon made child nucleus. Kill surgeon, deacon made. So I think a lot of these just skip me up eras. So. I like what they're doing with it. But it might be too slow for me. It seems like it took me about 12 hours or 12 hours, two hours to beat the first boss. So maybe what? Eight to 10 hours for a full complete run. But you're effectively starting over every single time. I, I almost wish this was one of those that it, there was no meta progression. Maybe. Yeah, so you have to fight that surgeon multiple times? Yep. There's one thing I'm going to check out before we stop. I'm going to do one. I know you can skip, but it's like, it's a little bit of a skip. And I'm sure once you pick up all of those perks, it's not bad at all. Alright, so I'm going to do that. We're just going to dive into a hunt. I want to see what fast mode does. Oh, wait. I haven't actually perked these guys up. But yeah, I would say my biggest complaint is there needs to be a lot more variety. More classes, more things. The movable stance would be interesting. Maybe it's good. But yeah, if you notice, we're just running into the, the same perks every single time we get one of these characters, which is just a little bit of a letdown. Alright, so I want to fight just a basic hunt. I want to see how fast it is. Yeah, if not more classes, at least make the consumptions make a hybrid uh, class skill-wise. Yeah, like, if you kind of had like a weird branching class system, and I still feel like Farewell, you shouldn't daughters. have... I, I don't like the idea of the sacrificing daughter system. I think it could work. The cure lies if it had more mechanics. Pounds of sickly flesh. Okay, so what I've tried to do, uh, there's a setting that I, I hadn't had until now that actually increases the speed of the game. And I want to see that. Okay, so we've got a couple of axe men, some other things. I think these are both gun dudes. get hurt close enough. I also feel like melee characters need to have much faster movement. There's a very distinct reason why I just over-aggressively use uh, ranged, ranged characters. I am liking How that increased movement and combat speed. It feels better. A clean cut. You know, where this game had previously been kind of a slog, that's going to well. speed it up considerably, so I don't have to just sit around being like, uh Okay, how far can he move? Pretty dang. Okay. If these two stay exactly where they are, they'll come to me. And then I can ruin them as they get closer. Or not. Okay. This might hurt. I thought I had more time than I did. Okay. 
Okay, let's move here. Shot in the dark, this guy. Oh, I think I could have actually just killed him. I like the flanking. I wish... Eh. I revel in her strength. Should I shout around? Yeah, let's just kill the plague doctor. I don't feel what the difficulty is. Is it punishing or flexible? It's... I don't feel like it's flexible, but it doesn't feel terribly punishing. There's definitely some times where it's just like, uh, hey, you made a terrible mistake. And then just kind of punishes you for that. A bit of victory. I, maybe, I don't know, accessibility mode. modes, surely. options, are always something that I will advocate for, because I think that would help. Just being able to change certain things. It is done. Okay. But what well. falls today may rise again tomorrow. Oh, I thought they leveled up, but I guess we're not at Mastery 5. I'm assuming Mastery is level. Oh, Alright, I guess I was wrong. Or, no? I am confused. Remember. Okay. Well, we don't have any other synapses. We'll rest. Yeah, so it looks like you will just continuously get more crystals the more you play. I I, I think truly what I, I, I guess I'm stuck on is I'm not convinced this needed to be a roguelike. I think I'd be okay, and I think the better way to do it would be you don't lose your characters, but if you lose, it kicks you back to the beginning of an era. With your characters, all of your characters, some of your characters, or three of your characters, or something like that. And you can kind of roll with them that way. The idea of having to go back to the very beginning for every run, just to grind up and get enough kills to unlock all the perks to have a chance at beating it, is a little tough for me. Just because, like I was talking about earlier, Grind can be okay, slog not so much so, and I think this is treading the fine line right now. That said, it's incredibly fixable as it currently is. It just needs more. More classes, for sure. Because how great would it be if you had like a spear woman, a great sword character, dual daggers, you know, just mix in a bunch of different cool weaponry and ability sets that can, that can be mixed and matched for extra extra weird combos, and even being able to multi-class a character. Like, once you hit uh, Mastery 10 or something, you can actually do two. Like, that'd be nice. And being able to start at higher Masteries is intended to speed the game up. I agree, but at the same time... At that point, why even have it be a full roguelike? Maybe? But yeah, there's, there's a bunch of cool classes that I would like to play with, and just having these three archetypes over and over again is going to make it repetitive, which is my, my big deal. Like, there are some games where the roguelike elements really make it good, but this feels like it was a, a turn-based tactics game where they didn't want to make it into, like, a full-on Final Fantasy Tactics or XCOM thing. So instead, they made it a roguelike to pad out the uh, the playtime. And that hurts, because I love roguelikes. I love roguelikes a lot, but I've noticed a lot more games have been adding roguelike modes, roguelike mechanics, to make it longer. Uh, I guess the easiest example I can think of is actually Don't Starve. There is a reason why Don't Starve both works and doesn't work as kind of a roguelike with the permadeath mechanics, where it really does up the tension but it absolutely kills enthusiasm if you lose a really good run. Because then you just don't want to play it again for a while. And so, I I would have loved to see this as a... Mutineer Zero. Almost. Give me some heavy cutscenes and storytelling between... Set levels? Plus, like, some random levels if you want to do some grinding or something. And, you know, just have it be a hard 10 to 15 hour story experience and then it's done. And then I think I'd be pretty cool with that. I just... I I want to justify in my head the roguelike mode and I, I just can't. I don't know. I still like it though. I love the idea 
and ideas being presented here, and some of them are really cool. The initiative order abuse, the knockback and knocking enemies around, the shadow shot scum to just shadow round scum to just, just brutalize enemies, especially because you could actually uh, trigger shadow round off of intercepting round and shadow round. So effectively, you could have two gunners that were just like ping ponging back and forth a little bit, which is kind of rad. Remember yeah, so it looks like courage. we can get up to 32 graves. But since I boosted all of my previous characters up, it's not really that helpful. But yeah, 5 RS or PG based on this without the roguelike elements. Yeah, kind of. I Sometimes it works. Oh, you know what? You know what this game... This game fell into the exact same pit trap as Swords of Ditto. A game that I absolutely adored the idea of, but they randomly made it a roguelike and that killed it. That's That's exactly it. So, I would say, at least currently, it's definitely worth looking at, but the price is a bit steep for what they're currently offering. If they seem committed to doing heavy post-launch support for this game, I will gladly come back when it's done done or something like that. Or if people really enjoy this series, I can also come back. I just got a lot of other games on my plate, and I think we've got a very good idea of what we have available in the game. I would have loved to see the remaining two, three, three abilities that you can unlock for the uh, the Shield Maiden and the Gunslinger classes. And maybe some of the memories, but like, it really just did seem to be kind of more of the same, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so for now at least, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.